Still think AI is just good for hallucinations? In the past couple years, when AI would lie about outputs and then lie about lying, very few analysts were losing sleep over falling behind. However, here at Fundamental Edge, we've begun to see some changes lately in AI that are worth taking a second look. We've seen some emerging novel, innovative use cases of AI in the investment process that are changing the way that people are investing and allocating their time during research. I'm going to share with you three examples of things that we've seen. The first one is getting ramped for a conference. Suppose you cover apparel and you're going to meet a company that you don't cover. Well, you don't want to spend as much time as you would ramping on a company that you do cover because you're never going to trade. However, you still want to glean insights from that meeting and you want to be prepared. So through careful prompting and the use of LLMs and careful data sourcing, you can reduce the amount of time it takes to get fully prepared for a meeting with company management, all while avoiding embarrassing oversights or just sitting in a hotel room blinking at each other. The second thing that AI can help with is super fast reading. LLM's superpower is being able to get through large chunks of machine readable text at lightning speed. So whether you're going through hundreds of pages of regulatory filings or just going through notes, all while chasing a research question, what LLMs can do is help you make that first pass just a little bit faster so that you can spend more time digging deeper on the inflection points that matter instead of the manual work of doing the reading. The third use case that we've seen is channel checks. Historically, it used to be the case that conducting channel checks would be limited by both business hours and the size of your team, but that's simply not the case anymore. Recently, one of the Fundamental Edge instructors judged a stock pitch contest where the winning team stood up an AI bot and had the bot do channel checks with different dealers all over the country. What the bot brought back was a substantially differentiated variant view that wound up winning the team the entire stock pitch contest. Now, when credit card data first came out, it was big time savings versus having to call around manually to check on trends. When Visible Alpha began aggregating consensus or making it available in Excel, that too was a time savings because it saved the manual aggregation of consensus data. It was hard to argue with time savings like that. What we're seeing now at Fundamental Edge is a similar moment in AI. And if you're interested in learning about how AI is transforming the investment process, we're going to have a lot more to say about that in the coming months. In the meantime, stay tuned to our channel for more.